Hello again, ladies and germs. Welcome back to another YouTube video. This is the uh, Dell Optiplex 780 series computer that I have. Uh, this one is uh, certified refurbished. I got it earlier this year. No way, I didn't. I don't know if it. I forgot if it, if it was. I don't remember if it was early this year or early last year. I don't exactly remember. But it's in actually good. It's still in good condition. Uh, let me see if I can. I don't know how well the camera going to pick this up. The uh, manufacturer date is saying August 17 of 2011. 8-17-2011. The hard drive has been upgraded. As far as. Uh, uh, and the. Memory or RAM's been upgraded as well. Two terabyte, two terabyte hard drive, eight gig gigabytes of RAM, and I do have. There's a reason why this side panel is off. That's because I got this uh, this uh, graphics card in one of my PCIe slots. It is uh, in the PCI in the graphics card. It is HDMI compatible. It also has VGA and DVI ports as well. If it would have had two of the three ports, then I would be able to close my side, put my side panel on. There's a reason why I got new graphics card because the graphics that were on this computer wasn't no good. Well, I'm sorry, the graphics performance just wasn't good enough. Excuse me. I think the CD drive has been replaced too. Or I'm sorry, maybe not. I think the CD drive is still original. I don't know which processor that is. I'll have to we'll have to get into that later on when I boot up my computer. Alright, so here's what I got hooked up. Whoop, is my air freshener going off? Excuse me. I got this IntelliNet card. That's the wireless LAN card because I don't, I'm don't. i not in my bedroom and I can't hook this thing up to Ethernet. And the power I'm going to be running it on, I'm running on this RCA surge or extinction cord, whatever you want to call it. Let me get a better shot of it. I'm sorry, y'all. Let's see, that's not getting a good shot. It's so a RCA surge or whatever you want to call it. It's got a um, cable and satellite in and out, phone lines, phone line in, out one, out two. The model of this thing, this uh, surge, is a RCA model PSA 3202C. And the TV or monitor I'll be using, this is Dynex TV. No, this is not my TV, but it works great. There are a few spots to where it's got some cracks. That was originally there when my older sister gave it to me. It's a Dynex. Let me see, I think there is a model number for it. If, let me see real quick. Uh, just a second. I'm trying to think. It might be on the other side. Hold on. Oh, it's on the other side, I think. I'm sorry. It's actually side. Oops. It's actually sideways. It's a, a DX22LD150A11. It works great again. Anywho, enough of my BS. Let me get this thing powered up and we'll get it we'll get it started up and so so you can see it going. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the surge switch. The surge has already been plugged in. Just like that. Uh the whole unit just comes on momentarily and shuts right back off. That's just normal. I'm going to cut my uh, TV on, the Dynex. 
just like so. Now the keyboard I'll be using is a uh, on model uh, or stock number. No way, does it have a model number? Well, it says stock number. It could be the same thing, same meaning as. Yeah, my shadow's in the way out because I'm bending down. I, I I I apologize about that. Stock number. Or I guess that means model number. O N A one one H O zero eighty eight. It it takes two AAA batteries. And I do have a on you wireless USB mouse, which I it doesn't no longer work with me correctly. The uh, scroller is messed up and the signal keeps on cutting out. Therefore, I'm using this plain old Dell mouse. No, this is not the mouse that came with the computer. The one that came originally with the computer, the nephew has it with him. So, and this is for, from another computer. And now you see up in this thing, there's like a little amber light. I guess it's just letting you know that means that the PC has power. But let's go ahead and get it booted up. Let's see. Let's see if I can get a shot of that. All the, uh, all the lights got on there. The lights are on. There you go. There will be a, yeah, you see that? It's a uh, Reboot Restore RX program that I installed on here. But I think I'm, that's just, that's a good program actually. However, I usually have it disabled because otherwise when you go to, like when you go to shut it down and, re, and turn it back on, it's going to restore your system back to its previous state previously where you left off so that's why I go if I go to the icon which I'll show in just as soon as it comes up I'll show you what I'm talking about how to disable it and if it if, if it was resulted in a, in a improper shutdown then it would come up and then once you reboot the computer it'll show it'll check for an improper shutdown it'll check the hard drive and all that anywho enough of my BS about that. Oh. Okay. Yes, I am a huge fan of wrestling. But this is the uh, wrestling from like the late 90s. Back when W... Well, back when uh, WWE was WWF. And nothing... I tell you what, nothing beats the Attitude Era. If you get what I mean. So I got, yeah, I got this background on here. Stone Cold Steve Austin, which is one of my favorites. My mom's favorite. My uh, dad's favorite. And one of my uncle's favorite. You got The Undertaker and Kane down there. Chris Jericho. Dwayne Johnson, or a.k.a. The Rock. The Rock, whatever you want to call him. Back there, you got uh, Edge and Christian. Bubba Ray and Devon Dudley's. Cactus Jack, the one that has the wanted dead or alive shirt. And on the left, you got Triple H. China, which shows a icon in the background. So, uh, so let me get this. Let me move this real quick so you can see her face. China. Yeah, who's? I think she passed away actually. Anywho, um, then you got the Road Dog, A.K.A. the Road Dog. Yeah, the Road Dog Jesse James and Badass Billy Gunn. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm tripping. I do have some uh, back uh, some programs on here. I actually need to close out a startup program. That's the Elgato. It's one of my uh, gaming capture cards, which, which I'm still ha struggling to get working properly. But yeah, it works great. Let me go to my control panel real quick. And uh, I think you go to uh, system, I believe it is. Yeah, system. The processor I, I got is the uh, Intel Core T Dual. I'm sorry, Intel Core Two Dual CPU. 
E8, 400, whatever that means. Whoops. Lines in the background, I'm sorry. It's running at 3 gigahertz. The RAM, like I said, is, been, is up to at 8 gigs. This is a 64-bit PC. No, it does not have a pen or touch display. Oh, I did not mean to show y'all the product ID. Got to be careful when I'm making this public to YouTube. And it's a Windows 7 Professional Service Pack 1. So yeah, that's about it. Runs great. I want de again, like I said on my previous video, I want to dedicate this to JK18, who I've been a fan of for uh, about maybe a year or so now. And now, real quick, I was m mentioning earlier. I don't know. Let's see if we can. Get, oops. How well that picks up. It ain't gonna pick up. There's that reboot restore RX program. I have it. It's actually shaded out. It's like grayish. I know the camera don't pick it up as well because I have it disabled for a reason. I might end up. Res I have it disabled because when you go to reboot your computer, when it goes to restore your system, it restores it in the previous state where you la last left. And it continuously does, does that. But when you go to right click on the icon and disable it, then it would briefly pop up as, as soon as you as soon as it finishes the boot, uh, what you would call it, as soon as it gets past the boot menu, whatever, whatever you want to call it, for a brief second. But say if it was forced shutdown or it, it resulted in the improper shutdown, as soon as it goes past the bio screen, bio screen, that's what it's called, I think. When it gets past the bio screen, it will come up saying improper shutdown, checking for whatever. It just checks the hard drive to be sure it's all safe. Yeah, that's about it. Not too much else to say. Except I will go ahead and shut it back down. The reason why I got this graphics card is because for ga it's just for gaming. Just for better graphics performance. It is shutting down. Listen to how it shuts down. Should be any moment. And there you go. Now one other thing I did forget to mention. There's this uh... Or a few things, two things I forgot to mention, rather. I normally use my gaming headset. This is the uh, Turtle Beach P11 headset. It is USB powered. Bloody hell. Alright, I'm sorry about that. It was no one, no one that important. Just nothing but a scam shit. Scammer shit is all it is. Alright, anywho. But, uh... Oh, uh, what where where was I? Oh yeah, this uh, cord here. I think this is what I was trying to get ready to mention. This uh, thing is an auxiliary jack. It's running to the back of my PC in the line input or microphone. It's a two in one port. It's it's a two in one port. So it's for both line and and microphone. And it goes into my tablet, which I'm currently using to record right now. So that way, it, when I'm in my game. I can like add, I download, like I use the microphone app that I download and I can like mix music with it too at the same time. But that's about it. Don't know if there's anything else to say, but let me, uh, oh, I forgot to cut that off. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and kill the power on the surge. And the uh, amber light goes away slowly. But that's about it. Can't put the side panel on. But that's okay. Anywho, thanks so much for watching. If you do enjoy these videos, please be sure to leave a like. And hit that darn subscribe button. You know what? In fact, I gotta actually boot this back up. Because I gotta get this up on YouTube, so why not? <laughs> I did not mean to shut this down, y'all. God darn it. 
Anywho, let me get this booted back up. I should have left it on to begin with. I should have booted back up because I forgot I got to put this on the tubes. I don't want to directly upload it from my tablet. But anywho, that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. See you next time. When I see you next time. Peace!